Hello all, uh, welcome to the lecture on Docker architecture. So today we will deep dive into the Docker architecture as well as the Docker flow. So you can go through my website uh, to view other courses, it's offered by me. Okay, so before going to the Docker architecture, let's uh, understand the core components of uh, Docker architecture. So first is Docker client. So Docker client, uh, is it can be CLI, it can be API, which sends uh, commands to a Docker daemon. Now, what is Docker daemon? So Docker daemon is the one which executes all the commands and it manages the Docker objects. Uh, then next is uh, Docker images. So it is only the read-only template for containers. You cannot edit that template, but you can build on top of templates. So example of Docker image may be an Nginx built-in image. So once uh, you download the Nginx image, you can modify the template uh, by adding layers to it. Going to the next part, which is Docker containers. So Docker container is the running instance of the image. So once you have the Nginx image, uh, you can create a layer with all sorts of customization you need, and you can run it as a Docker container. Then uh, next is uh, Docker uh, registry. So Docker registry is the place where you store all all your docker images once you build that so it can be docker hub it can be ecr in case of uh, aws it can be azure container registry in case of azure now next is uh, docker engine so it is the core runtime environment for docker so let's uh, go into the architecture part now the architecture part looks like this and you have a client which may be your uh, cli or api which you are using to interact the docker components and uh, we can see the client can be docker cli rest api it can be a docker compose file and from there it connects or uh, tries to reach the docker daemon so which may be on your uh, local machine as well as over the cloud or maybe any other place so where uh, it is the container runtime docker daemon is the uh, you can say Docker D, which handles the container management. So it will manage all the containers, like how many containers you need, what all things it needs. So all those things can be uh, managed with the help of Docker runtime. Then next is uh, host operating system. So all those things uh, run, uh, whatever the Docker daemon runs, it runs on an, on an operating system, which can be Linux or uh, you can say uh, Mac or maybe uh, Windows. Next part is like all these containers are the running instances, which are being managed by the uh, Docker daemon runtime. So another part, which is not here is uh, Docker networks, or we can see here network. So network will also come here. So Docker network is the internal communication between the containers. So how the containers will be connecting or talking to each other, uh, it can be done with the help of docker networks okay uh, so let's go through the whole flow here so once you have a docker client or the user is using to uh, run the docker commands with the help of the client uh, then uh, in the docker host uh, we have two sections docker uh, daemon which is known as docker t or there are other uh, things like images containers volume networks so all those things are maintained in the in the docker host then we have the docker registry so docker registry is the place uh, where we are showing all your Im images uh, which can be uh, docker hub uh, and docker hub have, has both public as well as private registry it can be uh, ecr in case of amazon or it can be uh, azure container registry in case of azure cloud then we have the orchestration which is again optional so but uh, you can say it is nowadays mandatory because most of the docker uh, whatever we run over the containers are uh, managed or orchestrated uh, with the help of uh, kubernetes nowadays but uh, docker has its own native one solution which was earlier docker swarm this was the one which used to be used uh, in earlier years but nowadays uh, most of them are managed by uh, kubernetes so this is how the docker uh, flow looks like